We drove uh, just south of Baghdad and underneath an underpass was about the last thing I really remember before there was, like the lights went out. I was 24 years old. I had just lost one of my legs trying to figure out what I was gonna do. Would I walk, would I run, would I be independent? It was terrible to lose my legs and, and it's something that will go with me for the rest of my life and something that I, I can never uh, fully overcome. It was sort of like an urban legend, the riding across the country, everyone knew someone who had done it, but or someone's cousin who had done it, but no, I didn't know anyone directly. I do remember meeting Chris when they were pitching the idea of doing the soldier ride and uh, being maybe in the group of people that thought that, yeah, it's a novel idea, but I don't think it's gonna go very far. I remember Ryan calling and going, John wants to know if you wanna fly to Colorado and ride a bike. I had never been on a bike since since I lost my leg. It was exciting. I was back on a bike. I could, I could still ride a bike. Uh, well, what we're doing is we're we're riding across country to raise both funds and awareness for for the Wounded Warrior Project. And uh, basically, these guys want to show what they what they can do and uh, what guys who are in the hospital right now with similar injuries that uh, they can still do anything they want. I wasn't 100 percent sure when when I left LA that I was gonna be able to ride a bike across the country. You know, you look around and you're not the worst hurt guy and everybody else is doing it. And you just learn, like in the military, you just suck it up. I mean, you always come back wishing that you could just be at a soldier ride every day of the year. This motion picture that's here, this documentary, is very near and dear to our hearts, hearts of the East End, and it's a beautiful picture. I actually was privileged to witness through Matt and through Chris and uh, the whole group that you have, uh, the, the talk house group, exactly uh, what went into it. And I'm very proud of it, and I have Matt Hindra. Greg, always good to be here. And Chris Carney. Thank you, Greg. Painful pleasure, I always say. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the movie. I'm, I'm so proud of it that, uh, you know, words leave me. But just for the people at home, it's such a, a beautiful piece. Just to... Well, we're very excited about the film. It's a, it's a feature-length documentary which covers the beginnings of the Wounded Warrior Project uh, through a, a cycling program that they do, which is called Soldier Ride. And Chris is one of the founders of Soldier Ride and he was the individual who rode his bicycle across America and a lot of us including myself believe that that was the emphasis of people really sort of grabbing on to these soldiers coming home and being able to welcome them home. Um, so that's really what the film's about. And just to give people a background, Chris is not like one of these guys on the East End that you see him on his bicycle every moment, right, Chris? No, no, I'm not. Uh, regular guy. I worked at the Stephen Talk House, um, and it's you know what what the film kind of chronicles, which I think to me was so interesting and, and why it's such an amazing tale is we were all just regular guys who kind of got swept up in it, and uh, what started off was just a, a good intention and a what we thought was a far-fetched idea is kind of started snowballing, and um, you know ten years later it's it's the premiere. Uh, Veterans Advocacy Organization there is in the country, and um, it's it's tremendous for us to see how far it's come. But it was all from that that beginning, and, and you know, the support we got here locally uh, is what helped the snowball. So. But from the onset, and you hear a lot of charities, you hear a lot of events that you know, 90% uh, of the operating funds don't go to directly to the people that need it. But in your particular case, that's not the case. Every morsel and then some goes into it. Yeah, the Wounded Warrior Project's always had a, a stellar charity rating. It's um, it's what uh, you know, top-notch charities live or die on. Is has how their how their books rate. So um, they've they've always been uh, have had a stellar rating. And when they grow that big, there's growing pains from time to time when they, you know you hire more people or you you uh, build more facilities. But um, we're proud, very proud of uh, their reputation and the fact that they've been able to uh, always be a four-star charity. 
And it's a, it has worldwide reach. You just came back from England. Yeah, we just came back from London. Uh, one of the things that got me involved in this uh, in this film project was going to the first Soldier Ride UK and documenting that, documenting that sort of um, uh, thing that only you see when you get two soldiers together, no matter what army they're from, you know. They sort of have this connection that you can't understand, I can't understand, but when they get together, they help each other heal. And that's the amazing part of this journey. It is, and when you see the men and women that were, uh, you know, wounded, and you know, the people say, oh, you know, Iraq and Afghanistan and all these things have happened. And, you know, people from the Vietnam era and all that stuff, well, you know, you just live through it. We've had wars before and, you know, we have the Veterans Administration that does a lot of help and these DAV and VFW groups that do incredible work. But the soldier ride and wounded warriors offered a specific magic that wasn't present then. And I think when that came along, it kind of, it almost said, you know, we could help ourselves. You know, then that's what I see. So for many of these guys, uh, what it does is it allows them to, em it empowers them so that they can help their buddies who are coming back. So many of them uh, still want to feel like they're, they're part of it, they're part of the team, and they feel like they've been taken, you know, taken out of the game and off the sideline. And that's what, what Matt was saying. When we get these guys together, uh, they're not so much concerned about their own needs as much as the next guys coming in. And, and our events, you know, merge guys who are further along the road of recovery to some guys who are fresh. And like Matt was saying, when you get those guys together, it means nothing for me to look at a guy who's a young kid who's lost both his legs but when you have someone who just rode you know 80 miles uh, who's a double amputee who looks at someone and says that it means something. And also the catastrophic factor of post-traumatic stress sometimes people are they look able-bodied but the wounds are inside and Soldier Ride addresses those issues as well and you know, and being in, in that group, the camaraderie is very... Yeah. See, in Vietnam, people uh, came back as an individual. You didn't have that group. And that really was painful. And I think if they learned anything, the idea of, of keeping the cohesive group together for as long as you can is very healing, you know, because they, you know, that's what it is. It's tremendous, and that's what, you know, one of the things we found is the ride itself, uh, when we were out there on the ride, and I think this is what the, the, the movie does a great job doing, showing how um, addicting it sort of was. We would get um, guys who would come in and join us just for a weekend, and, uh, you know, we'd see them kind of in their shell, and then throughout the course of, of the two or three days that they'd be with us, um, we'd watch them come out and, uh, you know, and just, they'd fall, they'd get up, they'd fall, they'd get up, at the end of the day, they'd be sharing beer and pizza in the hotel room with our guys and then they'd call up and they'd see if they could stay another day see if they could stay another day and that just kind of kept happening over and over and that's when we realized during the course of the second ride that it kind of morphed from being a fundraiser to a rehabilitative event and we realized the power that the ride had itself putting these guys out on bikes letting them help each other and that's where it's grown uh, grown so so quickly we're very proud of it both of you and the team that stands behind you is uh, and poor Chris always gets to talk about this all the time <laughs> you know it, it's always you know it's funny that the film itself uh, let me just talk a little bit about the actual film it, most of it takes place 10 years ago when when Chris rode his bike across America and in that experience of riding his bike across America he picked up these other veterans and it sort of snowballed into people wanting to come on the ride and like Chris said they wanted to come they wanted to stay an extra day mm -hmm. and they it became addictive and they just kept riding and riding. And uh, Heath Calhoun and Ryan Kelly, who Chris met on his first ride across America, decided they wanted to do the whole ride across America with him. Uh, and that's really what the film is about, is that second ride across America. And those struggles that those guys had, really riding their bike and also coming home from war and the people they met along the way. And Nick Krauss, who uh, uh, joined you in on, on, the, on the film, he, uh, where is he today? Well, Nick actually, he is uh, my, my co-producer and co-director, and Nick uh, shot Chris as he was leaving on his first soldier ride, made sure that the second cross-country uh, trip was, was uh, documented. And uh, today, he couldn't be here today because he's still on a soldier ride. He's always on a soldier ride somewhere. And he's on a UK soldier ride at the moment. Brilliant. And he's trying to get home for the screening tomorrow, but not sure he'll be here. So, 
Well, the screening, uh, I know that there's a few tickets left, but if you could uh, just um, uh, explain when it's going to be, and I'm pretty sure it's going to get a very wide uh, theatrical release for this uh, wonderful documentary. But here on the East End at the festival, the screening will be held in... Uh, it's at the Montauk Movie Theater, 7 p.m., uh, Saturday, the 11th of October. And uh, if you go on the f festival's website, it does say it's sold out, but there are what are called rush tickets still available. So if you come to the theater about a half hour before the show, you should be able to get in. It's a wonderful thing. And as a documentary, um, it, it beautifully done. And, you know, and looking at documentaries, sometimes you say, oh, you know, this is... But this thing has has a soul that really um, you should really run out and see it. The website for Soldier Ride? It's, uh, the website for the movie is welcometosoldieride.com and you'll see bios of Chris and, and Heath and Ryan who wrote Across America with him on the website and also future screenings. We're doing a lot of screenings uh, in cooperation with the Wounded Warrior Project so every Soldier Ride in America and also around the world that's going on right now, this film is being screened for a group of wounded veterans. So if you have um, if you're part of a VFW or a DAV group or if you're part of some uh, veterans um, uh, administration uh, activity, uh, contact them uh, so that your group could ha actually see it because it's, it's well worthwhile and support Soldier Ride and the Wounded Warriors Project with everything you got in the movie in particular. And thanks Greg and so people at home know that the film was actually edited in your facility uh, which is, uh, you know, I work for you guys part-time, so that was We're great, that was amazing. We could never do this because it was a very low-budget film, and without having a place to edit the place, edit the film, that would have been We're Definitely a low-budget, I'll tell you. So, yeah. <laughs> on, on that note, let me uh, give a special thanks, because when I got to watch the movie for the first time with you guys and Amy Gans there, I got to watch it with Heath and Ryan, who I hadn't seen, we hadn't been all three of us together in about 10 years since, since the ride. Right. And so for us, I was telling Matt, it was really a gift, because we got to relive, you know, things that we did back then, and uh, uh, it's just been a gift and a pleasure to be a part of so thank you. And we enjoyed seeing that work. It was a work print and it was out in the open and we had, uh, what, three busloads of, of guys and girls that were part of the Wounded Warriors, uh, they are a part of the Wounded Warriors group. And it was very dramatic to see in our community, uh, the at the grassroots level, something so beautifully done, a testimony to these heroes that we, we have am among us. So, again, our debt of gratitude to the both of you. You did a great job and continued success. Really wonderful. Thank you.